Hi guys, it's Ajay Yadav here and you are watching JS Startup. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn 6 JavaScript tricks to write less JS. So what does that mean? It means that we are going to get the same output by writing less JavaScript or using some known shorthand techniques. Let's see all 6 JavaScript tricks one by one. Okay, so here's the first trick. So you can see the code snippet in front of you. So we have one variable called is blank, which is of type boolean and we assign value true to it. Okay. And here we have the if statement and we are checking inside of the if whether the value of the is blank is true or not. If it is equal to true, then we are going to console blank. If it is not equal to true, then we are going to console is not blank. Okay. Now we are going to run this and for this I'm going to type node app.js so you can see so we get the output blank okay now i'm going to reduce this code okay to a single line and get the same output so for this i'm going to first comment it out this okay and i'm going to use ternary operator for that okay so i'm going to type is blank question mark i'm going to call console dot log okay and i'm going to say blank colon console dot log and I'm going to type here is not blank okay so I'm going to run it now so you can see it also gave me the same output which is the blank okay so we can test it also if I'm going to change true to false okay and I'm going to run it again it gave me output which is is not blank so you can see my five lines of code which you can see here is reduces to just single line of code okay now let's move on to the next trick okay so here's the second trick so you can see the code snippet in front of you we have one variable called post which is of object type and inside of that object we have a data key and inside of data key we have another four keys which is called id title text and author okay and if we want to get the value of the id title text and author we have to define it something like this like we have to create a variable a separate variable so we can use it throughout the application okay which is id title text and author and we are going to get it from the data which is using post dot data dot id using the dot notations okay and if i'm going to console its value so you can see console dot log and i'm typing id title text and author and i'm going to run it node app dot js so you can see it output the console which is one in the id in the title it is the js startup in the text it is a hello world and in the author it is the ajay yadav okay but you can see it cost me a lot of lines it cost me a four lines okay what if i have not the four keys but i have 10 keys so does i need to write 10 lines it's too much okay now we are going to reduce it to a single line of code okay how we are going to use a destructuring assignment what it does it do it can directly pick the keys from the object or the array okay so it's like unpacking the array and the object properties so we are going to comment it out the first this one okay otherwise it will create an array uh, so it will create an issue const and here we pass the one object it's actually a destructuring assignment state uh, so it's a destructuring assignment and here we pass the id title name and author okay and from where we need to pick this so author and equal then we are going to type post and we are going to pass dot data because inside the data we have all those properties which is id title text and author okay and we are going to run it now 
so you can see we get the same output as the previous one okay but instead of defining every variable again and again for different different keys we just need to use a destructuring assignment which can can directly get the values from the data key and provide that value inside those variables which is have the same but you need to make sure that this variable should be same as the key name if you have a different one it will give us an error for that you need to write a different structure okay now let's move on to the next trick okay so here's the third trick so you can see the code snippet in front of you so we have one fruits variable and which is of type array and inside of array we have three values apple mango and banana if i want to iterate so that means that i want to print all the values how does we normally do we use for loop okay inside of that we create one variable which start with zero equal less than to the length of the array and we are going to increment the i and then we assign that fruits with i which actually trying to access the index of the array at the first index at which is at zero is the apple and the at the one is the mango and at the two index it is the banana and we assign that value to the fruit variable and console it okay so we are going to call it node app.js you can see we have the output apple mango and banana okay now how we can reduce it or we how we can reduce the complexity of it by getting the same output okay so for this we are going to use for of loop okay so we have for let fruit of fruits okay and i'm going to console dot log fruit okay and i'm going to comment it out this code above one and i'm going to run it again so you can see we got the same output but here we do not need to create a one separate variable which is let i and we are not going to do some stuff like incrementing the i value then assign the fruits uh, with the index to the one another value called fruit so using this for up loop we have a separate variable already inside of it which is a fruit and we are directly consoling it here okay so instead of writing four lines we are using three lines of code and apart from that instead of having this complex structure okay we have just one simple line which says like fruit of fruits which actually getting the value of the array okay so i hope you like this one i have a detailed blog post on the loops on the javascript loop make sure to check it out okay now let's move on to the next trick okay so here's the trick number 4 so you can see the code snippet in front of you so what we are doing in this one so we have one variable called age and one variable called detail inside of the detail we have an object okay which have a first name js and the last name startup but it doesn't matter we are not going to use them so we are actually what doing here we are checking that whether if the detail contain the age then assign the detail dot age value to the age variable okay but if the age key does not exist in the detail okay because if the keys does not exist then it return undefined inside of here in the condition then we assign 20 okay now we are going to write this okay so here's the javascript trick number 4 so you can see the code snippet in front of you so we have two variables which is age and the detail inside of detail we have two keys first name and the last name so here we have the if statement and inside of if statement we are checking with whether the detail object have a age key or not with the value if it does a, if it have a value then we assign that uh, then we assign that value to the age variable if it does not contain the value inside the age in the detail dot age key okay then we assign the 20 if it does not contain okay so as we can see currently we do not have any age key in the detail okay so we are going to run it this using node app.js and we can see we got the 20 why because we can easily see that detail does not contain the age key okay so how we can going to reduce it okay we can use a ternary operator also but we have much more far better than that okay 
what we are going to use we are going to use logical or with assignment okay so we are going to call age and we are going to say okay assign the detail dot age now what happen if age does not there so that's how we use or operator okay and we are assigned 20 okay so what does this code is doing this code is saying like if detail dot age is there then assign it to age if it is not there then check for the other condition other condition is already two because it's a directly value then assign it to that okay so i'm going to comment it out this code okay and i'm going to use this console.log copy it and paste it over here and run it so you can see we have the 20 same output but instead of writing this five lines of code my one line of code doing the same thing okay i hope you enjoy this let's move on to the another trick okay so here's the trick number five which is template literals okay so you can see the one code snippet in front of you we have two variable with the first name and the last name and we want to concatenate all of them and create one greeting message okay so we have another variable called greetings and inside of that we pass hi then we use add then we use first name because it's making two string concatenating it okay if it's a number then it become an addition if it is a string then it concatenating it it joining two strings together okay so we need to create something like that hi j startup how are you for that first i need to write hi then the first name then create one space between of them between the for j startup and then after the j startup i write one comma and how are you okay now we are going to run this node app.js so you can see the output it says hi js startup how are you okay so it's look good in this case we are not going to reduce it to single line okay because it's already a single line okay what we are going to do we are going to use some simplified version of this okay it still reduces the code okay it not reduces the number of line but it reduces the number of effort that you put on okay so i'm going to comment it out this code okay so what we are going to use in this case we are going to use template literals which make the things very easy for us to do the same stuff okay so inside of the template literals we can assign the variable like this by dollar and the curly braces and the first name hi and the space again the last name okay and how are you and it's a console.log greetings okay and here we put on semicolon now we are going to run this again tada we got the same output okay we got the same output as the previous one but you can see we do not we does not reduce the number of line but we reduce the number of efforts we do not need to do this plus concatenation every time whenever the string is introduced uh, a dynamic string variable is introduced okay and in between of them we need to create one space also which become a hectic part so for this we use the template literals okay now let's move on to our last trick okay so here's the last and the sixth trick so you can see the code snippet in front of you so what does it doing so we have three variables which is page social and the age and one we uh, and we have another variable called user detail and many time happen we store the values first in the variable and assign that variable values in the object and pass on to the request or the anywhere else wherever it is required in the object format because the object can contain multiple keys by having the same variable okay so you can see in the user detail we pass the age key here and the age variable okay here it is not a value it is a key okay and the social and the age okay and if we are going to call it okay so you can see we have one object 
which have a page key with a js data value social key with the fv value and the age key with a 20 okay now how we are going to reduce it okay so we have the object with identical keys and values what does that mean that means that if your key and the variable have the same okay then you do not need to write like this like assigning provide the key and the variable okay you can directly provide the variable itself and the javascript understand it and convert that variable as a key and its value itself okay so how we can do this so we are going to use let user details okay let me first comment it out this okay and let inside the let user detail we create one object so here we directly define the variable okay it's a page and the social and the age okay we does not have to provide the key and the values the variable itself is the key and the value the variable name act as a key and its value is already a value okay and we are going to print the output you can see we got the same output okay so we do not need to create a key okay we do not need to create a key if the variable name is the same as the key that's the main point okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button share this video on facebook instagram and twitter and linkedin until then stay tuned